Eight months ago, I posted a video about making my own paddleboard from XPS insulation foam. I never really expected anyone to be interested in this video, but I was thrilled to see that so many people were interested in making their own paddleboard using similar methods. After reading through all the comments and answering some of your questions, I decided to circle back and make a quick video to address some of the things I may have glossed over in the first video. For this video, I'm going to share a sketch of the basic shape of my paddleboard and we'll talk about how I went about marking the board to cut out a symmetrical blank. You don't need any special tools, but I do recommend a good two foot carpenter square and a straight edge that you can use to mark the center line. The longer the better. I use the 48 inch long drywall square, but a good quality yardstick will work as long as it is not warped. It's not critical that you're perfectly centered as long as you have enough material on both sides of your line to cover the widest part of your board. The next step is to make markings along your center line at regular intervals. We're going to use these lines to measure perpendicular to the center line and create a pattern for our spline that outlines the outside edge of the board. I recommend making the perpendicular markings closer together in the areas where the profile of the board changes rapidly. For example, at the tip and the tail, I made markings every 6 inches instead of 12. That way you don't have to rely on your artistic abilities to sketch a perfect curve. At the end of the video, I'll post a sketch with my dimensions so you could use them as a template. Unfortunately, I lost my original CAD file for the paddleboard blank, but luckily the original markings were still visible because I haven't painted my board yet. I went back and remeasured the board width at each marker line to regenerate the CAD file. I used a free program called LibreCAD that works on all platforms. It's a little trickier to use than the old free version of DraftSite, but it does eventually get you the same results. I drew all the definition lines and then used the spline through points command to sketch the basic shape of my board. Since we want our board to be symmetrical, you can just use the same measurements on both sides. Once you cut the basic shape, it's time to start sanding, and there will be lots and lots of sanding.